Uh, hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Pashmina P. from Hasmark Publishing International. And today I'm with Stacey Harris and Carrie Salzgiver, author and illustrator of Riley's Yoga Walk. Hi. Yeah. And, and, we, and we're here with Danielle as well, our branding manager and, and uh, Portugal liaison. So we have a few questions to ask the sisters today um, about your book. Uh, so... Let's just get right into it because your audience is very interested to know about your journey. The title of your book is based around your dog, Riley. Can you tell your audience what the inspiration was behind writing this book? Is it only for dog lovers? <laughs> no, it's for everyone. And if you happen to have a dog, even better. <laughs> Um, at the time, I was teaching children with special needs, so I would come home from school and be greeted by Riley, and we would go on our daily walk, and it really was a mindfulness practice for me. And then as I just continued walking and taking these daily walks, I realized that everything that showed up to greet us along the walk was also a yoga pose. Wow. So for example, the neighbor's cat would always be out and then there was cat pose. And then we'd walk a little bit further and we saw this beautiful ficus tree with its roots, you know, reaching out <clears throat> into the earth and then tree pose. So I thought how amazing that not only could it be a mindful walk and experience, but it could also be a yoga sequence for kids. Wow, that is amazing. That is just beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to share it with my own children. Um, as an educator, what is one of the biggest takeaways you want your readers to get from your book? Mm. Yes, as a teacher, I would love kids to just be exposed to mindfulness and yoga practices as a tool that they can use in their own lives or any time they need to self-calm or self-balance. Um, so just to know that anything they learn, they can bring into their own lives. Oh, amazing. And do you uh, have more books in the series and will they be focused on the <laughs> same theme? And do you have other yeah. themes that you will discuss? And we do. We have some ideas for books in this series that would all carry the same theme around mindfulness, yoga, and gratitude. Beautiful. And I know that I, I ask this to a lot of authors, and sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but we love to hear this because it kind of gets us thinking. If you could sum up the mm. message of your book in one sentence, what would that be? Mm, such a great question. This book is teaching mindfulness and yoga to kids as a tool for empowerment. Because we really feel that um, these practices really give kids tools to really see their own power and feel like they can move through their life in a very healthy, purposeful way. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for writing this book. Um, I just want to pass it over to Danielle now. Um, um, Stacy, do you have anything to say before I pass over to Danielle about the illustrations or something about how the collaboration happened with Carrie? The ideas for the book, as Carrie talked about, uh, she started talking to me and laying out all the ideas for the tree and the <laughs> scenes and the sidewalks and the cats. And then we started um, trying first to put Carrie and Riley in the yoga poses, <laughs> hilarious, <laughs> and take pictures of them in the poses so I could literally then use those photos to start sketching and getting an idea of the way that the arms and the legs <laughs> would all go. And then that was all on paper <clears throat> initially. I had wow. um, done a lot of, you know, then sketching character sketches to kind of develop their characters and come up with a consistent look for what each of their characters was going to look like. So that took a little time and a lot of, uh, a lot of trials. <laughs> and we have some funny beginnings here to show you. <laughs> wow, I love it. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. 
<laughs> we got a lot, a, of laughs, a lot of laughs. I'm so grateful <laughs> I have those on paper. But now I have um, along that way, it seemed like the next logical step to convert to digital illustration. And so for me, that was a huge learning curve. I had never drawn digitally before. So just to learn that <laughs> software and to um, know all the ins and outs of digital drawing was amazing. And I'm really grateful for that. It just allows you to do so much and is such a magnificent tool. So beautiful. that was how that all came together. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, Danielle, I'm going to pass over the floor to you so you can ask these beautiful sisters some questions. So thank you, Danielle. Over to you. For the, the parents that are watching us right now, how could you explain uh, to them how does it work to teach the process of teaching the kids uh, yoga and mindfulness? <laughs> and what are the changes uh, we can see in their behavior in the short and the long term? Yeah, it's such a good question. I always share um, with parents or teachers or audiences that they always want to know how to start. How do I start this? And so I really say it starts with one conscious breath, like truly that simple. So one mindful mm. breath, um, bringing your full awareness to breathing in and breathing deeply all the way into your belly truly does send a signal to the mind and body that um that you're okay that you're safe mm. so it sends a signal to the nervous system letting you know that you're safe so it takes you out of that fight or flight that we tend to be in um mm -hmm. more times than not and it just sends the signal that everything is okay and all right so starting with that and then really introducing the power of breath um, I really truly feel that our most powerful tool for self-regulation and self-balancing is breath. Wow. So starting with breath, um, mm -hmm. teaching kids different techniques to breathe and connecting breath to movement and just doing very simple movements that come in everyday life, but really using that connection of breath to movement and then moving into just simple yoga postures um, mm -hmm. from there. So, so yeah, I just say, just start with one breath and see where it takes you. Awesome. And, and they can use this in their daily routines, right? To, to stay more calm, to face challenges, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I even say, you know, because we get so busy and we don't often take that time or that breath for ourselves. So I say, mm -hmm. Even having like moments during the day in your daily routine that become a signal for you. So I used to share with teachers, you know, before you get out of your car to even walk into the school, take a breath. Before wow. you, as you go through mm. your classroom door, take a breath. And now that a lot of teachers are teaching virtually, beautiful mm. thing to do before connecting with your students on the computer and and with kids the same we can teach kids to just stop and take a breath wow awesome and mm -hmm. are there any last thoughts or advice you girls would like to share <laughs> i have what stacy and i have talked a lot about this and being a writing teacher myself and all of my my teacher friends that are writing teachers that we really want kids to think of themselves as writers. Yes. That's really mm -hmm. important to us. Yes. And so a lot of thought and care went behind the illustrations and the actual handwritten text so that kids can see themselves in the book. That was important so that when they open the book and they see the illustrations that Stacy has done, that they feel like they can draw those wow. pictures. And yeah. when they see oh, Stacy's yeah. handwritten text, that they feel like, oh, I could write those That's words. Right. So that we came up with the idea to have a page at the back of the book. Oh, yeah. To encourage kids to actually draw or write about their favorite part or their favorite yoga pose or anything that they wanted to write and to share that with us and send wow. it to the website. 
um, because as teachers, you know, we, we want to see their work and we want to celebrate their work. And so we want to do the same with the book. That's beautiful. Oh, I have so one quick question for Stacy. Mm -hmm. Stacy, you're a photographer and an artist. And, and to really do that simplistic style for Carrie's book, did that kind of take you out of your comfort zone a little bit? Mm -hmm. No, actually, because I had, with my art, I was mostly doing painting. I had done a fair amount of painting and then uh, uh, started in with photography right before this project came about. So the, the drawing is simplistic, yeah. so it just worked. blended itself perfectly, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, there is so yeah. much beauty in simplicity, especially for young children, you know? And I love that, that you give them that notion that they can also be like Teacher Stacy or Teacher Carrie or authors, mm -hmm. you know, Author Carrie and Illustrator Stacy. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. What a beautiful message. Yeah. yeah, we are. We're seeing so many more child authors and illustrators out there in the world that are yeah. published. And so what a beautiful message to send. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Danielle, do you want to wrap up so that the sisters can tell us what's happening in the very near future? <laughs> yeah, tell our audience when your book will be launched and where people okay. can find you and your book. Yeah. We're so excited. Yes, the big day is uh, September 22nd. Wow. So, and we do have the website, carriesaltsfavor.com, um, set up to take pre-orders. So you can go to the website and pre-order. And we actually just finished creating the bonus gift Yay. for people that go on and order. Yay. So yeah, we're excited about that. The bonus gift is excellent, and we yeah. just uploaded our Hasmark video yeah. to the site yeah. as well, so you can see us with our publishing video there. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Of course, yeah, and then of course social media, um, Facebook and Instagram at Carrie Saltsgaver. So yes, please visit us, contact us. us. We would love to contact you. Thank you so much, ladies. You really are an inspiration. And thank you for being part of our book family because oh, you're just going to, you. you're going to change so many children's lives. You really will. You really will. Yeah. Thank you both so much for all of your love and support. Yeah. It means so much. So much. Yeah. 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 Thank you so thank, much. Thank you so much.